Okay, so what you want to do is let the air out of the tube first. I usually like to take the valve stem out, but I couldn't find my valve stem uh, tool. And then I like to loosen this nut up just a little bit, but I want to keep it on there when I'm taking the tire off. So what I like to do is hit it with some soap and water. Go ahead, I start from the other end of the valve stem over here. So we're just gonna get in here. Pop one, you gotta hold it. Come over, you just wanna take a few inches in your bite to get it started. We don't wanna get into the tube, just like that. Now we're just gonna hold that one and hope that stays over there. We're just gonna come around a couple of more inches over. There we go. And we just come around, pop that off. Now what we wanna do is take this off the tube. That way when you leave it locked in place, you're less likely to pinch it when you're getting that tire off of the rim originally. Now let's loose that and just come over here. Oh, my fingers are also free. Well, where's my glove? All right, now, we got that off of there. Now we can go ahead and pull the tube out. I'm gonna get in there and pull that valve stem out and just start right there. Boom. Two. Now, we've got the tire on half the rim. So what you want to do is come in from the outside here and just try to get it started like that. We're going to go ahead and hit it with some soap and water there to get it started. Then, pop this other one up a couple more inches down. Well, That's how you get it off. Okay, we're putting the tire back on. This is the hard part, just even getting it started. I've got my two uh, spoons here and maybe a wrench for a third one. That way it doesn't pinch anything. If the tire is directional, you want to make sure that you got it going the right way. This is a Michelin star cross. It's not. So I like to do it on the ground where I can push my knees into the tire. And that helps you get a little bit more slack when you're putting the tire on. So we've got our soap and water here. I'm going to soak this up right here, help it slide on. I know they say use some kind of rim wax or something, but I don't like spending money. So what I'm going to do is we're going to get started. I'm going to push my knees into it, get my tire tool in here, pop it down. Just like when we were taking it off, I'm gonna come over a couple more inches. And you really gotta put some mass in it. See, here goes the piece. We'll hit it with a little bit more soap and water under there. We're gonna come in for this last one. You really gotta. Okay. Let's try a little less and come in for one more bite. The smaller the bite, the better. And this is the hard part. Slap this bad boy there. Boom. All right, we're on. So now, we're halfway on. This is where the tube comes into play. You don't want to use a flat tube. You want to put a little bit of air in it. Or it just has a, a little bit of shape to it. Less likely to get pinched in there. So, we'll line this up. And what I like to do, Let's hit it with soap and water that way. If I'm not straight in there, maybe I can get it to slide around. The pros like to use baby powder. I don't know, this is what I use, so. We're gonna go ahead and start this thing in here. This is the hard part with the small wheels like this little 12 inch. Is getting the valve stem into place. We know we're lined up here, so I'm gonna go ahead and start getting this tube in here before I even get that valve stem shoved through the hole. 
So pop that in. And I'm gonna come back right here. This part hurts my fingernails. Where is the valve screw? Go through. Okay. Well, this is where you'll have some trouble. This is always the hardest part. I need to slide a little bit. The smaller the tire, the harder this is. She's getting this in. There it is. Okay. So we got three. Now, what we want to do is put our nut on about three quarters of the way on that valve stem. And if you can hold on to it with silky hands. Get started. All right, drive off in my hill. From here, let's do it like this. So, is it easy things that give you the most trouble? Just wants to cross the right on there. Hey, so you want this thing to be about three quarters of the way tight. That way, when you're putting the rest of the rim on, you won't pinch the rim, it'll stay in place and won't move around on you and try to come out of that hole. You don't have to tighten it all the way down. Just finger tight there. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna lube that rim up a little bit more with some soap and water. Get the rest of the tire started. Same thing, I like to come away from the valve stem, get it started. And you can always use your knees. This is where the third little wrench comes into play. Sometimes I'll stick that bad boy in there so I can have three spoons. If you got three, even better. Now we're started. That way that wrench won't pinch the tube there, the socket side. Now we can just come around, start popping it on. I'm leaving my other spoon to hold it in place. This is where it gets a little more difficult because it starts wanting to come off the other side. So I like to use my knees. Doing this by hand just makes it easier. Once you get to this last section, Go back to our third wrench here. This is where this comes into play. Let's see if we can't just make some room for it. It'll hold it for us. Stick that in there like that. And we've got our third hand back. We'll work our way around a couple inches at a time. Boom. And we'll switch spoon. Tighten your uh, valve stem up all the way before you put air in it, like that. Couldn't tell you the torque specs on that, Tyler, but I like to get it hand tight. And if you got a hand, somebody who can help you hold that third wrench in place when you're getting that tire started, it makes it a lot easier. 15 to 18 pounds is 18 max. Go ahead and check your bead, looks good. If it's a little bit off, I like to take the air out of it and kind of just pop it around. It'll seat it into place, but there we go.